guys. It's a little windy here today, so hopefully my uh, mic isn't going to pick up too much wind. But in light of spring, and a lot of times in spring, people are feeling that sense of rebirth and, um, you know, just a new joy to life after the long winter. And a lot of times people start thinking about romance. So I'm going to share with you a very simple love spell. Now, the birch tree um, is very symbolic of new beginnings. It can draw new relationships to you. So if you live in an area where you have access to birch, then this is the spell for you. Um, you want to find some fallen logs. Um, please do not take down a, a tree limb for this. Find some fallen logs in the woods, or if you cannot find any, you can find a live birch tree and offer a libation to the tree, a, a spirit, a liquor in a glass, leave it at the base of the tree and ask the tree if the tree would be kind enough to provide you with a fallen branch. Come back and hopefully that will work for you. Um, but once you find a log, it's very simple especially if it's a dead log like this one, to peel off a bit of the bark. Now, this bark um, was used as paper, you know, back when uh, we didn't have paper mills. Um, so it's very simple to peel off a piece of bark like this. Now, this is a little damp because it's been sitting out in the woods, so you're going to want to take it and lie it in the sun to dry it out. Um, after it's dried out for a few days, it should be um, nice and dry and crisp. So that is what you're going to need. And that's all you're going to need for this spell. And I will be back in a moment to continue. Okay, so once you have your piece of birch bark paper, um, this is actually from a silver birch. Um, I'm just using this as an example. So if you're using a white birch, it will be more white than this. But this, you can see, is completely dried out. Um, you could dry it inside or out in the sun, either way. Um, but you want to make sure it's completely dried out so that it will burn well. And there are two ways you can do this. You can either prick your finger and then draw in your own blood um, your message. Or if you are adverse to using blood magic, you can simply use a red Sharpie. Um, if you're going to use a red Sharpie in a ritual such as this, you want to consecrate the marker. And um, then you want to inscribe it with your message. Now I've done one here. This is purely an example. You can write whatever you'd like. Um, here I've actually peeled off all the bark, so just the paper is left. And you can see it's very dry and papery. And inscribe a message on it. This is purely an example. Um, many people don't think you should actually use a person's name if you have someone in mind because that interferes with a person's will. So if you're trying to be very ethical, then just inscribe um, some sort of message of love. You could use the, the expression twin flame, whatever resonates with you. Um, inscribe your intent onto the piece of bark. And you want to perform this ritual on a new moon. If you can um, perform it on a Friday, that would be even better. Under the light of the moon, con you want to cast a circle and take your message and, um, and then burn this. And while you're burning it, you want to really focus all your intent um, really visualize what kind of love you'd like to have in your life and drawing it to you. Use all your energy to create the love that you want and put it all into the spell. So this is a very simple ritual. It doesn't call for a lot of tools and um, yeah, it shouldn't cost you any money. <laughs> and, and hopefully you have a red sharpie at home. If not, you could always purchase one. They're only about three bucks. And um, a very simple yet effective love spell. So if you are able to use this spell and if it does bring some love into your life, please feel free to share with me. I'd be very, very happy for you. So happy spring, happy romance, and um, see you guys soon. Take care.